Hello, a big welcome to my new channel, Karina Star Tarot. Today I will be doing a reading for the star sign Virgo. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. To help my channel reach as many people as possible, please don't forget to hit the like button to share this video and subscribe. If you'd like to donate to help keep this channel going, just click on the link in the description below this video. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, just click on the link below and fill in the form provided. Thank you. Now let's see what's in store for Virgo for January 2020. Now I've already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'll shuffle them one more time for you on camera. Just a quick shuffle though. Uh, please bear in mind that I'll be reading the energy from the cards so I could be picking up your energy also your partner's energy a member of your family's energy or a friend's energy also cross watchers are very welcome into this reading and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck I'm also going to give you a couple of Romance Angel cards and I've already pre-shuffled these but give them another quick shuffle for you on the screen and I'm also using a deck called the secret language of colors a nice deck very big cards I really pre-shuffled them but they are quite difficult to shuffle because they're so big but just a quick one for you okay So Virgo, let's begin your reading. Now we start with the Two of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands. The Devil, and I'll reveal this card a little later on in the reading. Right, so we're starting off with the Two of Swords. So, someone, you or someone else, is very confused or very stuck in their head, doesn't know what direction to move in, how to proceed forward, maybe it's something you don't want to face doing you know an action that you know you'd rather put off because you don't want to face the truth about things or perhaps you're scared about moving forward regarding something but this is you you know not able to see clearly about something or perhaps you can see but you don't want to see and so also the swords is air energy and you could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini or Virgo, I'm sorry, or Libra. <laughs> then we have the, the Eight of Pentacles, Earth energy, so Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. So this is you really working hard, 
putting in a lot of hard work over a certain period of time to you know build up um security for yourself um to make your make it a brighter future for you but you're putting in a lot of hard work into something whether it's a relationship or in your career or within a friendship And then we have the King of Pentacles, so another Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, could be dealing with. Um, this is someone very much in their power. They're very well established in life. They're financially savvy. They are financially secure and they're happy. Um, it could be someone um, that's a leader, a boss someone very important you know with a lot of influence and a lot of pull um it's someone though that has the power to propel you forward you know if this is regarding a career and if it's regarding a relationship this is someone that is, is certainly um well established in life it has that kind of maturity that you get as you get older that that kind of emotional maturity and that kind of um con self control and common sense but it's definitely someone that um is very supportive and someone that where there's a lot of growth and potential with really because um you know if you if this is a relationship it's someone that will definitely give you a balanced relationship um, and, and secure your future. So it might be with the Eight of Wands that you are receiving a lot or you are going to receive a very quick, fast communications. So perhaps you, you and maybe if this is someone you're getting involved with or someone you've just met it could be this person that that is communicating with you um very fast you know it could be via email text messaging you know any kind of form of communication but it's very fast and exciting communication and one's energy is fire energy so aries leo sagittarius perhaps And it's with the Six of Pentacles, another Earth energy. So again, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, perhaps he or yourself or both of you, he or she can represent, remember. Um, you know, maybe um, this is a relationship. If it is a relationship, it's very balanced, very even. You know, um, there's equal give and take. As equal amount of love giving and time and attention and if it's career then perhaps um, you know you're getting that um, promotion or, or you know getting some sort of reward in your career in your work life but it's something that's definitely going to be f fair to you if it is something that's coming to you um, and if it's a relationship, it's definitely going to be a relationship that's balanced and fair and equal and loving. Then we have the Four of Wands, fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the card of solid, creating a solid foundation. Um, perhaps... Perhaps it's a relationship that you're in. If it, if it is a relationship you're in, then it could be something um, that indicates the relationship is, is going to be solidified in some way. You know, like maybe there's um, been 
an announcement uh, of, of an engagement or even a marriage proposal, perhaps um, it's something, you know, that uh, someone's telling you that they want to be committed to you, that they, you know, making, just making that statement that, you know, I want to, I want, you're the person for me, I want to be committed to you, even, you know, perhaps living together, you know, but just, being in a partnership so but it's something that's very reliable and very solid and you know it could also be an engagement and if it's to do with work and career it's definitely a promotion something really great is going to happen to you within your work within your career with um you're definitely going to be advancing there But then, who comes rushing in? The Knight of Wands. Fire energy. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, someone who rushes in. Um, perhaps this is an ex rushing back into you. You know, like, it could be. Or it could be someone that is competition. You know, another option that you have. You have the King of Pentacles as a possible option, and you might have this as a possible option. But if it's an ex, it's come rushing in, he or she, and it's not necessarily, even though it's fast moving action and you know it's very quick, it might not necessarily be a very serious offer. You know, um, it might be that um, this person is only rushing in because. They're afraid of losing you because, you know, someone wants to commit to you, you're, you know, or you've met someone and it could potentially be very serious for you. And your ex has come rushing in because they're afraid of losing you. But perhaps but this is not really a serious offer. This person doesn't want, you know, the commitment, you know, as quick as they rush in, they can quickly rush out. And, and to be quite honest with you, you know, this person might only be interested in you physically rather than emotionally, even though they're fiery, you know, um, emotional in that sense. But it, it's more to do with, you know, their own needs and what they want. So, yeah. Then we have, to back that up. The Devil, which is a major arcana card. And of course, what you know from already, if this is next, which it most probably is, um, you definitely are um, concerned because this person, you know, um, it's very toxic for you. You know, you uh, it was a very toxic relationship. If it was a past relationship, if it was someone new that's just... You know that's um that's just come into your life um then it, you know it's someone with not very good intentions towards you perhaps you know perhaps it's you know gonna be um very i don't know um very toxic in 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 not just a physical sense you know there could be some codependency issues um overindulgence maybe a tendency to drink smoke that sort of thing too much perhaps this person you know might be emotionally um abusive in some way you know manipulative um but this person's not very good for you um because they are using you for only their own ends really it's it do, it's something that doesn't serve you well this is probably why you know there's that you're stuck in your head because you might have feelings for this person but at the end of the day you know your feelings you know you might have feelings but you've got to decide whether you want someone that's not going that you know to be totally into you that will come and go as they please um, and break your heart over and over again. So let's see what this card says. Ah, we had the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you, 
because because you know this this that relation that relationship was toxic or could be potentially toxic or you already you know um you rather be independent and alone um it, this is although this is a kind of independence you know um it doesn't necessarily mean that you are not considering or you're not open for a relationship um it definitely is the opposite you are very open to receive love and a relationship so you know you possibly do have an option someone that is definitely on the uh, vibrating on the same level as you someone that's definitely um far more suited to you um because you know you are very grounded very stable financially and you know inside as well within within yourself you know you you you're you're emotionally together and so you deserve someone that's gonna be able to match the qualities that you can bring into a relationship you know you're very loving you're very loyal you're very supportive you're very caring you know and you know you've got standards you've got you've got a line that you don't want to cross and you know this toxic influence you know as much as you like this person and maybe have, have feelings you know that it's not good for you in the long run so you're happy you know just being in this in this kind of energy this this nine of pentacles energy which again is taurus virgo and capricorn so that wasn't too bad a reading let's see what the romance angels have to say so it says here express your love let's get that there you go express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yes to the right person though this person is a very good match for you you know you might be able to you know fulfill you i mean you you have self-fulfillment but you know th this person will compliment you i think is the word i'm looking for compliments you in the right way so don't be afraid to express your love because that person will be emotionally open also and and want to receive you know open to receive love and 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 definitely interested in you from all remember all that eight of wands communication so don't be afraid you know don't be hesitant don't let the past hold you back the past you know toxic experiences not every person's like that then we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so if this person has not come into your life yet then this person definitely is on his way in he or she and it possibly is a soulmate so someone that definitely compliments you in every single way where there's balance equal love care communication balance in all areas of love and life so that's really that's a nice positive way of ending your reading but before we go there's one more card to reveal and this is the secret language of color cards so let's see what color you've been assigned all right or given shall i say not assigned mauve in <laughs> no that word in ages um enjoy clear hearing okay so i guess um you've got to really listen to your inner voice you deep down you know the right thing to do in this situation you know who's right for you and who's not who doesn't serve you any good like this knight of wands not so good for you perhaps not very serious only after one thing perhaps and as quick as he comes in and gets what he wants he'll leave and it's very toxic you know you perhaps perhaps you're 
putting everything into the relationship you know what you were giving all the money um your time you know emotion and not getting anything back keep open up your hearing you know clear your hearing you know listen to your intuition let's see what the book has to add to this because it can often add further insight so we're looking at mauve 43 let's see what it says mauve 43 right it says mauve a pale lavender lilac color connects to intuition ah see i said listen to your intuition listen to your inner voice Awakening your inspiration, expanding your spiritual awareness and helping you to let go of heavy, dense energies. Yes, let go of that toxic energy. Mauve also creates a sense of peace and tranquility to assist with eye and ear problems and improve your memory and ability to concentrate. It is the colour of softness, gentleness and allowance. Use mauve rays to release stuckness from your ears. So, yes, perhaps you should have, wear an item of clothing that has mauve in it, or maybe you have some jewellery with that colour in it. But if you don't, just get a piece of paper, perhaps even, you know, with of that colour, you know, just keep it on your person. It's obviously a very lucky colour for you, and it will help remind you that you should always listen to your intuition, trust your intuition. It won't steer you wrong. And yes, steer clear of those dense, toxic energies that serve you no good. Go for something that compliments you, something, someone that compliments you, enhances you equally in harmonious, balanced way. Anyway, Virgo, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And finally, before I go... I'd like to say, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, finally, have a very happy new year, Virgo, and I will see you very soon. Bye.